Uh, my name is Sam Kenyanjui. I'm the head of training and capacity building at the Cambridge Welcome Research Program. I'm also an associate professor at the Nuffield Department of Medicine. My primary research interest is in understanding immunity to malaria with a bid to inform the development of malaria vaccines. And it was during this time, and I was working with really good scientists looking at uh, different aspects of the malaria parasite, and they were interested in very specific proteins, but many of them had actually not had contact with a malaria patient. So for them, malaria was essentially this molecule or this uh, parasite that they're working with. But it just struck me how much we needed to have also people from the places where the disease is prevalent, people who have contact and who have ex lived experiences in some cases of the disease leading the research into malaria. And that is how I started developing it, the interest in building research capacity so that the center of gravity for research on African problems is actually in Africa. And in 2008, I basically shifted my position to take up the role of head of training and capacity building at the Cameroon Welcome. Yeah, so the, the approach we have used is that we have, over the last 12 years, established a comprehensive framework in which we have schemes for attracting young Africans to research, for example, attachments. We then provide high quality masters and PhD training, and then provide support for retention, either in Africa or if not in Africa, in research that is relevant to Africa through transition funding and also through postdoc and mid-career research fellowships. And we focus really on three dimensions. We focus on uh, generic skills training, for example, you know, proposal lighting or leadership. We also focus on the technical aspects of training, high quality supervision and mentorship and opportunities for networking and collaboration. And finally, we also focus or emphasize on operational support, including providing the students with funding so that they are not struggling to, you know, focus on their, 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 and, uh, on their studies. At the risk of sounding modest, we are really proud of what we have achieved so far. We have trained over a thousand uh, people. Uh, as, as my last count, since 2008, we have uh, trained about uh, 128 PhD students, and at any one time, we have about 50. And indeed, the leadership of the program, including the incoming director, Professor Edwin Barasa, trained through this scheme. So if you come to the program now, all the scientific leadership essentially are people who have trained through this uh, pipeline. There's still a huge gap in research capacity in Africa. And as I said, our original focus was first developing capacity for the program and so succession planning. We then moved to looking at the region, East African region, and now we are working together with other collaborators in the continent to build research uh, across the continent and so providing the wonderful uh, you know resources that the program has thanks to you know funders like the welcome trust for training other regions that are not as well uh, endowed for example we are collaborating with institution in niger which and other countries in those regions that uh, you know also are still uh, in need of uh, greater capacity strengthening